much requested. You couldn't believe the numbers that came in for people that wanted to see the Pierce Brosnan and James Bond franchise covered in full by two idiots. Were we included in that? Did I get a vote? You didn't get a vote. Do you want to vote now? I vote no. It's too late. Ah, <laughs> and I watched it. <laughs> and you, and watched you know what? It. I kind of enjoy, I enjoyed this one. This Me is, too. It's not this Pierce Brosnan and Bond movie that I feared watching, yes. and rewatching. It's all the ones after this. I feel because that's much great. like the Daniel Craig Bond mm. movies, I feel like the Brosnan era has a great opening movie, yes, and then a rapid decline. But and that's interesting because both Goldeneye and uh, Casino Royale are both directed by Martin Campbell. Is that an accident? Probably not. They probably went. He made a good one. That yeah. was the last good one. Can we get that <laughs> yeah. guy to come back? Let's get that guy again, and they have diminishing returns for the rest. Exactly. And look, these videos also will be diminishing returns, no doubt. But hey, leave a like on this one at the very right, least. Yeah. This will be the best one, hopefully. Because we've got a bunch of stuff to cover. Do you want to hear how Pierce Brosnan, or maybe you know about this, came upon this role? I believe, you can correct me, I believe... I'm he, ready. Yeah, <laughs> you're ready. I believe he auditioned for it in the past. Yes. But he was also doing a detective show called Remington Steel. Mm -hmm. And so he couldn't get out of that contract. Yes. And so the role of Bond was given to a different Bond? Timothy a different Dalton. Bond. Timothy Dalton? Timothy Dalton, that's right. It was the 80s. It was the edgy Bond. Well, yeah. one of the first edgy... There's been many Bonds. Do people know that? Do people know that? It's important to point that know, out. Because people will probably tell us in the comments that there's been a <laughs> few of them. Yeah. David Niven. Also a Bond. <laughs> also Not a Bond. A Officially, Woody so, Allen, we don't talk about it. So yeah, there was supposed to be a 1991 sequel, The Property of a Lady, based on the Fleming short story, but there were legal issues over the ownership and what happened because of License to Kill because it didn't do super well. There's always legal troubles with Bond for it some really reason. It really is, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. And so by the time it came Probably around... because Ian Fleming stole a lot of ideas. <laughs> Potentially. Mm -hmm. So by the time it came around to filming this one, the Broccoli family, you know, who, who run the Bond Absolutely. franchise. You know, you Barbara, know Barb Broccoli and the other... Bro Albert Cubby Broccoli. Cubby Broccoli. Cubby Broccoli. Yeah. They said, Dalton, you should come back. And he said, I'll come back, I'll do one. And they're like, no, if you come back, you got to do like four. Because it's sure. been quite a long time. You come back and you do one and then you kill the franchise if you run off. So he's like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do anything ever again, he said, that's, until Hot Fuzz. That's right. I'm and sure he I'm, did stuff in the Then middle. I'm going to turn in a great performance for Hot Fuzz. <laughs> exactly. Then I'm going to be in Penny Dreadful, I think, yeah. is what he said. <laughs> that's maybe. right. Doctor Who. I'm in one of those seasons. Remember that? Yeah. Time Lords or something. I think I'm in the Doom Patrol <laughs> in some universes. So this actually isn't based on any novel. It is yeah, the this first is one ever. Original content, point. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But the name comes from Ian Fleming's Jamaican beach house which is named after a World War 2 thing that he did in World War 2 because Bond uh, everyone knows this I'm sure but it's like the fantasised version of what he kind of wanted to do in the war because he did a lot of war room kind of espionage stuff he That's wasn't right. out in the field shooting people mm -hmm. like a James Bond he was in a boardroom shooting people like a James Bond also right. <laughs> oh they got Pierce Brosnan anyway so That's he's, right. he's, he's Bond yeah yeah yeah, huh? yeah. and you know what Looks the part, definitely looks 100%. the part. 100%. Especially in this one. Yes. He's got great hair for 1995 or any year. Yeah. That's some good looking hair. But from what I can gather, the plot is the villains want to acquire a golden eye. Golden eye. No, I don't like the theme song, <laughs> by the way. Uh, the, the plot is the, the villains want to acquire golden eye, which is an it's golden an EMP. Eye. Are you familiar with what an EMP is? It's an well, electromagnetic I after, pulse. I am after this movie. This, I think, <laughs> was one of the earliest uh, times in the cinema I learned what an electromagnetic pulse was. And then I learned it again in every every movie that's ever been made since. We I get it now. We have a rule where your movie automatically loses a point, if that means anything, which obviously it doesn't. It's an arbitrary thing I just said. But if you explain what an EMP is, this one definitely gets a pass because it's one of the first. Yeah. Anyway, they want to steal it. Yeah. So they can then computer hack into some computers, some financial computers, and steal a bunch of money and then set off Goldeneye so there's no record of what they've done. I'd never seen satellite imagery like this in a movie as uh -huh. well. I know what they didn't really use a satellite, but just the idea that you could see someone from space, I was like, people can do, oh my God, is that true? <laughs> yes, they can definitely do that. It's the mid-90s, what have I been doing? <laughs> oh, it's the mid-90s and I'm a teenager, what have I now been up to? They saw where I kept all my pogs when I buried them in the woods. The opening of this film is terrific. Yeah, it opens with... James Bond, first a of all. A stuntman, you should say. A stuntman who looks kind of like Pierce Brosnan <laughs> leaping off the side of a dam, and that looks incredible. It's kind of, it's a real stunt. Uh, because Bungie was big at the time. Bungie was big Just at like the time. Parkour was big at the time of Casino Royale. That's right, exactly. Just like clowns were big in the 80s when Roger Moore did that. That's right. Big things that were happening. That's right. Yeah. I mean, that sequence I certainly remembered and really enjoyed from the first time I watched it. What I enjoy is that Pierce Brosnan's first appearance as Bond mm. and his first piece of dialogue and his witty rejoinder first happens when he He's upside down in a men's toilet. <laughs> 
I think that's fun. I find him very convincing as Bond. In this one in particular, I think he's suave and the one-liners aren't too over the top. That's At this true, point, yeah. they mm. become worse. And I also think Yanis, Yanis, Janis, double <laughs> sixes. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I think he's a great foil for him. Yeah. Again, looks the part. He's the kind of guy that would be running around doing missions, but also... <laughs> is that guy evil? You know what I mean? Exactly. And it's yeah. also, you know, at this point, Bond has yet to be rebooted. So he's been doing this, the Bond thing for for decades. Yeah, he did no, that weird golden gun thing. Exactly. <laughs> but nobody else in the 00 series has gone has gone bad at this point. Yeah. So it's kind of, they've had it coming, if, sure. if, if we're honest. I can't believe, uh, if we're just getting into, this is the part of the video where, hey, remember this? They put him <laughs> in a helicopter. There's multiple points and it's very much a Bond trope where they just leave him alone and presume that he's going to die. Ah, uh, they explain most of the plot first and then they leave him to <laughs> die. Right. Again, that's James Bond. But they leave him in a helicopter. He awakens to a screaming woman and the eject button is just next to his head. Yeah, right. Terrific stuff. What do you think of the Bond girls or the Bond women as they're more known now? Uh, I have have a few notes. Sure. Um, So obviously we we have the villain... The villain Bond girl, that Xenia on a top. It's a little subtler than your days of pussy galore, as an example. A little. Just a little. <laughs> I have I have two notes about her. Kind of sweaty all the time, comma, horny for murders. Mm. Do you think that's, <laughs> time, you think that's yeah. accurate? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here's the initial part of her plan, which you, you don't really think about it, but then literally decades later, you will do a podcast about it or, and a video <laughs> and you will you will rewatch it again and you'll think about it. Her plan initially is to seduce an admiral. Yes kill the Admiral, yes. steal his identification, yes. and then board an aircraft carrier accompanied by an associate of hers mm-hmm. disguised as the Admiral so she can steal a helicopter. Yes. But what happens is they take the ID and they go to the aircraft carrier and the guard looks at it for two seconds and he just hands it back and they just get on. <laughs> so yeah. I would say the much easier thing to do would maybe make a fake ID. Nobody's looking at anything or scanning anything. But again, she's horny for murder, so I guess. That's what she's about, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other Bond woman, <laughs> I think she's good. Isabella Skorupka. Yeah, yes. she's one of the better ones in, in this batch of films, I think, because mm-hmm. there are some... Well, there's one in particular which we'll get to, which is not great, but... I think she's good. I think she's a good match for him. Apparently we find out in the sequel novel yes. uh, for the next movie that she ends up marrying some other dude and is like, good for her because obviously I could never be happy with one person. So that's, that's great. true. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know this is the only, and we need to check this week to week, Pierce Brosnan movie that doesn't end with him lying on top of a woman. Not movie, Bond movie, I should right, specify. I was say, right. Yeah. Because I haven't seen Mamma Mia, so <laughs> I don't know. There's some people I also want to point out who I think are great in this. Alan Cumming as Boris is terrific. Yeah. I mean, he's a, he's, it's a good performance. Uh, he That character is just kind of a collection of catchphrases. I know? tried to count the, uh, the pen clicks. Right. I couldn't. I tried to find online if somebody <laughs> counted the pen clicks. You can't. Well, that's if you build it, they will come. I think maybe that's, that's right. the next video. I wonder. <laughs> I have, look. I have a I have a note here sure. because obviously James Bond is given all his gadgets by Q as usual. Oh my god! He's given a, a car filled with rockets and turbochargers and ejector seats that, of course, he never uses any of in this in this movie. Does he use the belt? He does use the belt. Yes. One of the things Q gives him obviously is a pen. It's a grenade. Three clicks arms it. Three clicks disarms it. Yes. And I've got here. I wonder how many MI6 agents were killed in. 1995 by their own exploding pens before uh, Q put a click counter on them. <laughs> he is a fantastic carryover from the previous Desmond, films. The great Desmond Llewellyn, And he yeah. still feels sharp in this one. You kind of, you see a bit of the decline. Yeah. But it's a really fun throwback scene. You see all the visual yeah. gags happening in the background. It almost doesn't fit in this kind of movie, but yeah, I right. think it 100% works. No, this, so. one, this one's really quite good, you know, at, especially at the time. It felt fresh, but it sort of felt in line with the ones from the 70s and the 80s. Yes. because I think partly because it was made on film, so mm. it still feels kind of, you know, yeah. real and not, and not made on video. And also because, like, all the briefing rooms are all... Then they they haven't gone to like steel and glass and holograms. They're just like <laughs> yeah. wood panel and like <laughs> yeah. leatherette, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, which is again something that I've been saying for a long time. Take Bond back to the '60s mm-hmm. when you reboot it. You set it in that time period of the original films, and you mm-hmm. get all the retro gadgets and the retro sets and the retro cars. I think it'd be fantastic. And also, everything's not on a smartphone then. That's true, yeah. You know, he has to carry like eight different devices <laughs> that his phone could do. Love the watch, by the way, the watch laser. Oh, yeah, Great that's, that's a classic. Yeah. Did you know Ooh. that for the video game, which we'll get to, they went around and they photographed 
everything that they could in this film, including Boris's shirt, to get that design oh. into the game. So as yeah. they were filming the movie? Yeah, they That's... went down just for a day and just huh. did everything that they could. Wow. There was like 10 people that worked on that game. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll get to it. My surprise, goodness. maybe. Oh, yeah. A bit of surprise mm. there, yeah. I also want to make mention of Judy Dench. Who I've I think... written here, all caps, Judy Dench. Yeah, and that's really, what else do you say, really? She's a great inclusion. The funny thing is, M being a woman was the idea of Lois Maxwell, who was the original Miss Money Penny. Mm-hmm, yeah. She wanted to come back and be the new M. Okay, yeah. And they went, that's a great idea for somebody else. Oh, no. Yeah, and look, I love no. Judy Dench. You can't really fault it, but that's they were rough. like, And look, for the next movie, we want, we want to cast a Lois Maxwell type. Lois, do you know anyone? <laughs> Like that? We got Samantha Bond yes. as, as uh, Money Penny this time around. Yeah. Again, in this one, she's kind of sharp and acerbic and she's got like a rejoinder for every one of Bond's kind of, you know, lascivious come on. She hates him. Yeah, she absolutely <laughs> hates him. But then in later movies, she just becomes like super horny for Bond she in VR and stuff. She kisses him with hologram glasses yes, on. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a few things I feel like we need to talk about and this I feel is your area more than mine. Okay. Uh, theme song you mentioned. I don't love it. It's okay. It's no yeah. From Russia With Love... Or even... Uh, Live and let die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever. That's right. It's also, I think, maybe the last opening sequence where it's just just naked women doing naked women stuff. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> they weren't, should we put some clothes on them now? Just be naked. They're gold They're in a women. pool, then they're out of the pool and yeah. they're mm-hmm. naked. And someone shooting some, a gun. Should we put some roulette stuff in front of them? Nah, just naked women, I reckon. <laughs> So the other thing I wanted to mention is the car. It wasn't out at the time. BMW, yeah, the BMW Z3. Mm. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Yeah, mm. you're a fan at the time, sure, but I, it has not aged well. I mean, yeah. what has certainly aged well is the Aston Martin DB5, which and the has hair. the opening sequence yeah. and the hair. Yeah. Mm. But I think the thing about uh, that car is as well that I read. You mentioned earlier we don't see any of the the tricks in the car. Mm-hmm. Apparently that's because it was such a new model that they didn't have time to put it in to the movie. Oh, I see. So that's why. And also BMW yeah. are probably like, don't show the Stinger missiles <laughs> in the car because everybody will want Stinger missiles. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is it's the 90s. You're a man of clothes. Oh, How we do it here. Look, D- Daniel Craig could not pull off like a cable knit sweater and an ascot. <laughs> he absolutely killed it. Could, Daniel Craig could not pull off a double-breasted blazer with golden buttons. I contemplated wearing one today to the recording. <laughs> really? For no reason. For no reason. For, for nobody to see. For nobody yeah. to see. Could Daniel Craig pull off just a just a tactical fishing gear <laughs> for the finale? Just in that 1990s sweet spot. Yeah. Everything's slightly too big. Yeah. I also just want to quickly mention about the finale. That bit where he's dropped onto the satellite dish. I don't know if you notice, but that dude breaks his leg so fucking hard. The stuntman does. <laughs> uh, no, the body. The, the, oh, yeah, right, right, right. Uh-huh. You know, I wound it back and went, did that guy just break his leg in eight places? It is brutal. Ben <laughs> will put in a slow-mo. Thanks, Ben. But again, for the amount of distance he dropped, yeah. that he's getting off quite lightly. Yes. The fact that the character, the character of 006 is still supposed to be alive, yeah. having dropped like 300 feet. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you have to, he has to stay alive so the satellite dish can fall course, on him. Yeah. Anyway, you know. I'm proud of him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do want to talk about some alternate casting for this because there were some other choices other than Brosnan. I'm ready. Before we do that, we've got to get into the video game, right? Let's t- yes, let's play a video game. Specifically, you can play the video game and I can comment over the top of it. Terrific. Because I do not want to play that video game. <laughs> And we can hardly talk about GoldenEye the movie without going past GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64, Mason. I mean, physically we could. Is it your favourite game? No. Do you hate this game? Oh, look, you might assume that I hate this game because of all the times I've said that I hate this game, but <laughs> I, I, I don't hate it. I just, I wasn't... I never played it in a scenario where I enjoyed it. Yes. Because I always because I played it when it came out, which was like 1990 whatever. Yeah. And it was always on. It wasn't on one of these big old uh, uh, plasma televisions we have oh, these certainly days. Certainly not. It was on. It was always on like a, somebody's little boxy home television, <laughs> and it was split up into four t- further tiny little screens. And, you're- and it turned out I needed glasses for you know probably a couple of decades, and I didn't know. And they'd come from their own house where they Should've all just gone ahead. Watch. Oh, nice. Love it. They yep. all owned an N- N64. Yep. And, and it's a horrible control by any standard. Oh my god, I hated it. It's too yeah. many. It's too it's many too of many, everything. Yeah. So what we're doing here, I'm actually running through uh, the facility level, which is my favourite level. And one of the classics from GoldenEye, it's running on emulators, why it doesn't 
look like four pixels clashing into each other. Oh, this is actually improved performance. This is improved performance. So I... you can murder a man in a toilet in high <laughs> definition. Exactly. Perfect. Just like the movie. It did a pretty good job of replicating the movie, but I think what people remember this most for is is the multiplayer. The multiplayer, absolutely, But yeah. I just think the single-player element of this game is really stand out. I mean, it's buggy and it's dated. Sure. But there's a lot of things in this game that kind of set trends. Watch this. Okay. Boom, oh, boom, object boom. Objects damaging objects. Ah, okay. like me. You're I'm being shot. damaged. Yeah. I appreciate that James Bond has come into this loaded for bear. He's brought in like 90 bullets. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you recall in the movie... <laughs> He's, he's running around, you can hear all the bullets jangling. <laughs> he has to load them all one at a time. He's got a sack of bullets like an evil gun-toting Santa Claus. That's exactly it. The thing about this game is also, you know, the multiplayer was added like six weeks before the game came out. They went, can we do multiplayer? And they all made right. it without Rare knowing. Huh. And the then, publisher. Yeah, uh -huh. and then like threw it in. Then at the last minute they went, oh yeah, we made this multiplayer. They went, oh yeah, we'll just leave that in, I guess. Huh. And it turned out to be like a massive selling point That's, of the I game. mean, yeah, but people people love this multiplayer. People, yeah. people Except multiply for odd job. Don't be bloody odd job. He's you know too short. I mean? He's too short. He's but up to tricks. But, but I mean, surely you should be. Everybody should be up. No, well, not everybody can be odd job. Just like in real life. That's I mean, true. One person. But can surely be odd job. one person, you get in first. You play as odd job. Isn't yeah. he so short that all the all your bullets and stuff go over his head? Yeah, exactly. And, and nobody knows where the duck button is. A lot of people also. Yeah, the duck button is like a combination of buttons. Ah. Oh. Yeah. What I've actually done, I've mapped this to an actual like a proper controller. Ah, oh, so that I can explains actually it. Do okay, this properly, right. Which is why I'm not stumbling. Everywhere. I mean, I still am because it's yep. still like mm. 64 controllers on a, you know, on a dual shock. Uh -huh. but so you haven't, you haven't mashed it up to two NES controllers. <laughs> no. You got one in each hand. No, I've taped them back to front. So oh, I'll do it that way. Uh -huh. yeah. No, I guess this game was this, this seems also one of the earliest games where you can aim in a di different direction you're moving. Yes. In, right. That's exactly or right. Or at least you can very, you can aim up and down as opposed yeah. to like a doom at the time where it was just, yeah. you just fired straight ahead and yeah. hoped you were That's in right. line of sight. And other games have done this spe specifically on PC, uh -huh. but nobody had done it prop like there had been console obviously games before which you know because doom got ported to the been console Nintendo. games before no, right? i'm sorry i mean console first person shooters yes that's no, true because doom had been ported and a bunch of other stuff mm -hmm. but this was the first time people went oh actually you can actually have a good first person shoot i'm looking for dr doak by the way dr doak yeah who's one of the game developers so i don't know if you know this about this game but all the people uh, associated with the game had their faces pasted onto all these different characters. Oh. And they used things like like the UPS guy would get in and just go, yep, we need three photos of you. We need a photo <laughs> of the side of your head and the front of your head. And, and the and UPS the guy was like, am I under arrest? What's happening? So oh, Dr. Doug's always in a different place. By the way. Oh, my God. The other thing I love about this, uh, look at that face. Beautiful. Are you going to kill any of these men? Well, that's the thing. You, you can... Um, when oh, you I'm in the back. Well, where you shoot them is where they, watch, where they kind of react. That was a big deal at the time. So if you shoot him in the hand, they're like, my hand, my hand. And this guy might pull a gun if, if I'm lucky. Oh, oh. too slow. And now I get his gun. Wow. Now, sure, he was an evil Soviet scientist. <laughs> but at the same time, he probably had a wife and kids. Yeah, not anymore. Mm. I mean, actually, they still exist, but he, he doesn't get to see them <laughs> yeah, anymore. It's true, yeah. yeah. But it's one of those things where if you pull out a gun, yes. like a loud gun, it's uh -huh. over. There's like a million guys will come. All not right, a million, but it's... Right. Yeah. So they're kind of smart, these guys. Yeah, a little bit. So they'll see me and they'll, and, oh, oh, very tricky. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. oi, um, oi, soundproof. Oh, no, I was going to say it's soundproof. Uh-oh. Nice. Okay, pulling out the big guns, Mason. Oh, yes. Not By yet. that, you mean a regular gun? A regular gun. I just, I just Oh, I hit that guy in that spot that takes ages to die. Oh, you know what? Here's the thing. Here's, here's what was happening, James. Just FYI. Sure. I saw you were running low on bullets with your silence swath of PPK, and I was kind of hoping that was all you had, <laughs> and you were running out of bullets and not noticing. And I was going to be like, what are you going to do now, idiot? But you have well, a do you big, know what you can do? You have a bigger, better gun. I've got a bigger, better... Ah, oh, karate chops. They put in the judo chop because it was easier than making a fist. Oh, <laughs> right, sure. Yeah. Yeah, but Judo Chop is very James Bond. He does one. He, he does one in Golden so Movie Golden Eye. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I've also noticed that you're getting some uh, bullet holes in the walls. That's fantastic. It's so much destructible environment. If you shoot enough, the, the previous ones will, will disappear. disappear. Right, right. Just but, like real uh, walls. I'd never seen that at the time. There's a few yeah. things that I just never realized was a thing you could do. Mm. Uh, the precision Falls aiming. communism. That's right. Yeah. The precision aiming is like it's pretty solid. You can't move, but it's like a nice little addition. It's also got a very generous auto aim. I so, see. Yeah, which is very handy. Well, I mean, for you me. could have fooled me based on the handful of times <laughs> I played this game. Well, imagine how bad you'd be if it didn't oh have that. Oh my god! I know where every guy is. And in I've this signed us up to that 
GoldenEye tournament tomorrow? <laughs> oh, no. Nah, you'll be right. Do you remember GoldenEye tournaments? People used to do them all the time. Well, you know, it wasn't actually supposed to be a first-person shooter. Originally, it was a 2D platformer that Rare was going to do on the Super Nintendo. Well, they failed spectacularly. Then, <laughs> no, they? it's not even close. But that was uh, off the back you of... You idiot, you added an extra dimension to this. You're fired. <laughs> Wait that, a minute. That was off the back of uh, Donkey Kong Country. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. so... But it was, oh, because that's also a Rare joint. Yeah, that's right. Huh. But because, of course, new stuff... Yes, console. new stuff, sure. Yeah, was that doc- Where is this guy? Is that Dr. Donk? <laughs> Doak. Oh. It's actually named after one of the people that worked on it. Let's see. Doak. 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 One of these, oh, this oh is there's Doak. so many Dokes. There he is. Oh. Hello, Dr. Doak. Originally, the new title of No Time to Die was going to be you. Time to Go, Dr. Doak. <laughs> Look, it's important that he didn't the live. The bottling room? Is this a winery? Well, it's where we meet uh, Alec Trevelyan. Oh, the vineyard. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Secret guy. Can he see me? Can I James Bond him with my hands? Judo chop, judo chop, chop. give me judo judo. chop. So I can use the daughter code or I can just use a gun. What what would you prefer? It's entirely Uh, up to you, obviously. The biggest gun you have. This is it. The other thing is this has amazing cheats, which I haven't unlocked, but there's so much good stuff. Is there a big head mode? Oh, absolutely there is. The idea was that they'd release the cheats in magazines initially, right? I've heard of magazines. Uh, But then one of the- Gun magazines? One of the people at uh, uh, Nintendo said- it would be great if they were unlockable. If you do, you know, missions with certain, you know, uh-huh. if you do certain objectives on certain, you know, certain difficulties, then you unlock the codes and that's how they ended up doing it. Ooh. Which I think is much better. I think that's how it should be now. Now it's like DLC and you get a new hat. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Can you unlock, uh, can you unlock James Bond's Japanese disguise from that movie <laughs> in which <laughs> well, he's a horrible you, racist? You should say that because the multiplayer initially had, I'm yes. padding for time here because I'm near the end. Maybe I'll put some <laughs> other footage in. Right. But, uh, Initially had the four James Bonds in multiplayer, but they couldn't get Connery's rights. Oh, okay, so they right. took them all out. It's still in the code. You can still find snippets of it in there. Yeah, right. Yeah. But anyway, so, so this now is- it's Brosnan or Bust. That's right. <laughs> they should have been, you know what? They should have done like, um, they should have done David Niven. They should have replaced Sean Connery with David Niven, James Bond. That's right. I'll oh, watch this. I'm going to kill an unkillable guy here. Oh, yeah, nice. I remember this trick. Were they so landmines? Supposed to blo- oh. Well, this is like in the movie. Remember how he yeah, plants yeah, it and yeah, then he yeah. goes, buy me a pant. He says, uh, <laughs> buy me, buy me pant. <laughs> Your favorite line, obviously. Buy me a pant. I remember also when I first heard of this game, a friend of mine was like, it looks just like the characters in the act. The, the actors are, look at that face. Look at that <laughs> oh pixelated Oh my God, yep. <laughs> At least his nose is jutting out and not flat to his head, I he guess. He looks like his character in Game of Thrones if they decided, <laughs> rather than make him a human, they'd make him a goblin. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So I'm going to blow up these, uh, all this st- this stuff without oh, blowing while he holds off up. The, while he holds off the guards, yeah. good stuff. See, they've got him, like in the movie, they've got him. See, they've mm-hmm. got him, but watch this. Oh no, not Alec Trevelyan, don't do it. Just kidding. Boom! <laughs> gotcha, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, no, no, no. no. Don't pose, run. There's yeah, so many guys behind you. You can be shot in the back so many times. Yeah. So, yeah, this was going to be like a Virtua Cop kind of game, and they showed it off, and people who saw it were like, oh, my God, a first-person shooter. And they went, yes, That's a first-person shooter. <laughs> Where you have control of your motions. <laughs> That's right. And not so, the camera moving around. Incredible. So, <laughs> basically, yeah, I think this game's terrific. Mm. Like, I, I hadn't been back to it in a long time. It, if you can get the controls to something that you like working with, like a keyboard and mouse, mm-hmm. it's much better. Yeah, if you want to mm. you want to upload it to the Virtual Boy, oh my play God. it and get intense migraines, well, do it like that. <laughs> it actually nearly did come to the Virtual oh, Boy. Oh, of course it did. Yeah, but of course, like most things on the Virtual Boy, it was it was cancelled. The funny thing because was... Because playtesting resulted in intense vomiting. <laughs> exactly. The funny thing was, though, they lost the license after this because it became too expensive. Of course, and for the next, because of success. That's right. So for the next one's a third-person shooter that went to the PlayStation and apparently not good. But I tell you what, Mason, if this video gets 100 million likes... Oh, yes. Now, what's a reasonable number? Last 100 said billion <laughs> likes. Last week we said 20,000. Yeah, let's say 50 because that happened really quickly. Okay. And that way also, I don't really want to play it. So, <laughs> oh, we have to. Oh, I see. If we get if we get fifty thousand likes on this, we have to play the next. Yes. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow never dies. The that's game right. is that tomorrow it. Tomorrow never dies. That's oh, right. Dear. So that sound good to you? No. Yeah. So <laughs> so get to liking, folks. Get to liking, folks. But yeah, I also love to know if people think this holds up because I genuinely think it does. It set a lot of trends. It's responsible for like Halo and a bunch of other first person shooters on consoles. Mm. I mean, sure, but can you? Put your hand in a toilet and, and pull some poo out. Duke Nukem Forever style. 
<laughs> Maybe in one of the later missions. <laughs> but yeah. Well, we missed that opening. We didn't try it in that opening sequence in the toilet, so I guess we'll never know. Oh my goodness. I think as far as early video game movie adaptations, it manages to hit pretty close to what it's supposed to be. It's not just a side scroller and you're the Terminator or whatever they used to do. That's true. You, know, you yeah. go on the missions, you meet the people. There are additions to it. But I think it does a pretty good job of replicating the movie. Absolutely. That's what I think. Anyways, I said that uh, we talk about alternate casting. And here it is. In consideration, a lot of these are rumoured, obviously. Uh, Rafe Fiennes. Oh, is Mr. James Bond. That's right. Ended up in the new franchise. Mel Gibson. Okay. Well, again, it was the 90s. So it was the 90s. He was in, in, in contention for every major role at the time. That's it. It said that Sam Neill auditioned, but he actually auditioned in the 80s. And he realized at the time, he's like, I'm not going to get this and I feel dumb. There's footage of that. It actually doesn't look too bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, Liam Neeson turned it down. He would have been a big lumbering. <laughs> well, he, he, <laughs> he's gotten his in the, in the, you know, in the modern era, That's hasn't he? That's very you know? true. Yeah. And Paul McGann uh, was going to... Oh, the, uh, the eighth doctor? The eighth doctor. He was going to do it if Brosnan didn't do it. So, yeah, like you said... Didn't end up that way, and he was Doctor Who for a minute, and then he did it for another minute. He's had like fifteen years later. Look, in the future, everybody will have two minutes of being the Doctor, so that's I, very exciting, isn't it? I cannot wait. Look, I, I just I just made some notes for this one because I'm a big fan of the Bond franchise sure. generally. Just enjoy these. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sit back, everyone. Sit back, everyone. This is Meso's stray <laughs> thoughts at the end. Is what Love it is. It. An early an early scene with James Bond is he gets he's getting evaluated by an MI6 psychologist, uh, and and later he gives her quote, a very thorough evaluation. A root. A root, exactly. But I would just enjoy it if later M reads back that report to Bond and it just says bad at sex. I thought that would be funny. Uh, uh, I've got a note here. It says in 1995, an incoming email was a full screen event. Because there's a moment where Boris gets an email and he's like, whoa. It's like, wah, wah. I've gotten like six emails while we were recording this and all of them are just ads for stuff. And I'm like, nah. I've gotten here. After Bond and Honor Top have a fight in the sauna, sure. then sort of a knockdown drag out fight, Bond would have had to hold a gun on on her long enough for both of them to get completely dressed and get in a car. Yeah, how the hell would that work? I don't know. What do you put on? At a, a certain point, he'd be after like, I got to tie this tie. Can you hold the gun for a minute? <laughs> Just hold it on yourself. It's fine. And look, my final note is: I wonder where the liquid nitrogen frozen Alan Cumming statue is being, currently being stored. Because mm. at the end, he gets frozen, and then he's just. Uh, I bet Alan uh, Cumming has it. You reckon he has it? <laughs> Definitely. Right, let's, we'll tweet him. We'll find out. <laughs> Bond is known for stealing things from other things. Yes. And I feel like they saw Demolition Man and went. What if that, but Alan Cumming. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? The yeah. dream. I bet, he, I bet Alan Cumming does have it in his house, the horny devil. <laughs> I love that guy. Anyways, it's been Caravan of Garbage. We do this every week. It's not an accident that we did this. You can actually sign up for Patreon and choose what we're going to do next. It's entirely up to you for some reason. I mean, for money, because we want the money. It's That's entirely mostly, up yeah, to you. Absolutely, but please do. Yeah. We won't turn it down. Yeah. Yeah, come back next week for Tomorrow The World never Is dies. Not Enough. Time another time. Another time. Time another daytime. The one where he, ties the he newspapers. takes over the world with newspapers. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Terrific. And again, if you want to see us play the video game, 50,000 likes. But again, you don't have to because I don't want to. So. No, it's a bit markedly worse than Goldeneye by all accounts. And I yeah. don't like Goldeneye. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Grab that. G- no, you say that. Can I say it? Yeah, all right. Special occasion. Wait, what am I doing? Grab that jam, everybody. We'll see you next week.